Hey everybody, uh, we just had a great trip in 2019 and we wanted to put together a little bit of a video kind of showing all the things we saw and, and remembering some of the great places we had. Now, I want to say right up front on this video that we have a version with, with a nice, you know, sad song and it's, it's kind of more artistic and it's just a lot nicer to listen to but uh, YouTube won't let us put it up for copyright so there is a link to watch it on Facebook if you want the emotional uh, um, I don't know. It's just it's more artistic. It's nicer. Um, you kind of feel all the all the feels while you're watching it. But otherwise, you can just listen to me talk, and I'll talk a little bit about our trip. It was a great trip. 62 days, uh, 16 students, four staff, 20 of us total. We rented a couple vans. We drove I don't know 4,000 kilometers around Europe. Uh, we uh, started off with about seven days of, of kind of a north tour where we saw Germany. Uh, this is Mont Saint Michel, just an incredible, incredible sight in France, right up by the English Channel. Just a shot of Germany, right in Heidelberg, one of my favorite cities in the world. Big, huge castle ruin. Um, another cool thing about Europe is you can just kind of get into stuff. They, they don't have like safety fences everywhere. You use a little common sense. Big Nazi amphitheater here. This is Munich, uh, the uh, Marian Platz. Uh, towards the end of our trip, saw lots of World War One and World War Two sites. These are some uh, some of the German battlements from uh, the D-Day beaches, and again, you can get right into them, which is awesome. The American Cemetery by Omaha Beach. Uh, again, we saw uh, so many towns, so many cities. About mm, seven or eight days up front on the road, then we went to a chateau for 35 days, um, and uh, tried to read through the whole Bible. Didn't get quite all the way through it, but got most of it. This is Verdun you're seeing here. Huge World War One battlefield. <clears throat> I think I think they said something like the bones of a hundred thousand people in that in that ossuary. This is Angers, another city. We did a bunch of day trips. Got to Notre Dame just before the fire, so very fortunate with that. Um, beautiful cathedral. Though to be honest, there's beautiful cathedrals everywhere in Europe. Uh, it, it's really quite incredible. Eiffel Tower, all the all the traditional French sites. I think we spent about four days in Paris. Could always spend more, but man, so many things to see. Uh, and of course, the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre. Uh, there we have, there we have the Mona Lisa. Ate some great food, uh, French cuisine. I think considered by many to be the best in the world. Um, uh, Versailles Palace, uh, Louis. This is the Hall of Mirrors. Look at Amy's face there. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty darn impressive. Look at Joel here now in the bottom left. Right, uh, there he is, look at the guy, uh, I love it, Joel. Uh, but it really is quite an impressive place. Uh, this was the Arc de Triomphe, sort of at the end of the day, I think everybody was a little tired, but uh, we sort of had a second second win when the cam camera came out, good times. And this was our chateau for 35 days, the Chateau Puybelliard, um, in a little town called Chantenay, beautiful outbuildings. Uh, that was the kitchen that was so full of life and energy the whole time, beautiful dining hall. We had so many great meals. Uh, one of the students one day said, it feels like we have Thanksgiving every night because uh, uh, Leslie and Tanya did such such hard work, such good good work. Um, beautiful, sh this is where we had our classrooms. We uh, put the chairs in a circle, read through the Bible. Um, that was a rec room, sort of a board game room, and the pause gourmand, where uh, Leslie would have a nice afternoon snack every four o'clock. Students really grew to love that. This is another one of our, couple, few of our day trips. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, we got to an English Irish pub, uh, La Rochelle before that. Uh, that was Nantes. Nantes, a big fortress and a big mechanical elephant, which for some reason we visited. This place was amazing. The Puy de Fou, it's the biggest amusement, or the best rated amusement park in Europe. Most visited, something like that. Um, and then, of course, Italy, uh, Rome, the Vatican, uh, the Roman Forum. Incredible history. I think we spent four days in Rome. We saw the Pope. Uh, that, man, I didn't plan on that. Got hardly any video of Venice, but it was raining that day, but we did get to Venice. This is another shot of the Puy de Fou, a reenactment of the Roman Colosseum. Incredible. And we close out the video with a bunch of shots of the group. And, uh, man, if you could hear the soundtrack, I'm feeling sentimental at this point every time because I just miss everybody. You really get to be good friends over time. I was saying, on, I was saying, I kind of wish that we could take the same group, but I know God's going to bring us a new group of great folks and it's we're going to become great friends thanks for watching